14.7.5b. Uh, hopefully this is, this is recording, yeah. This, this is recording. Yeah, recording. I don't know, that's a big show. Okay. So it's asking you to show that uh, if a function satisfy the two recurrence form, uh, let's forget about all the x notations. So well, everything is a function x. Okay. Plus one equals to two n plus one over x of n. And then we have the second one, f, f minus one minus n plus one of n plus two equals to to n plus one of n pi. Okay. One the copy asking us to show that if you f satisfy this two, then it's uh, it would imply uh, it satisfied the speed Kobeso equation. Double point plus two x pi plus x square minus n equals to zero. Right, I, I got it right, right? So, I mean, you need to make sure that you copy everything right. Otherwise, uh, you spend a lot of time and if there's an error, then you got you didn't get it right. So just need to make sure. Okay. Only the screen can see. Okay. Now the the idea is uh, using these two. The first thing you see is that uh, you have an f double prime, so you need to get a double prime from these two. You have an f prime here, so. The first thing to get this one is take the derivative of this one, right? So hopefully that will be uh, correct. Have a double prime. Move this to the other side. There will be two terms. Minus one prime. This one. N plus one pi. Okay, that's uh, the first step. Now, uh, this is still pi, so you want to use it again. Right? You want to use it again by using this equation to get rid of the pi here. No. Well, this one, f n minus one pi isn't this one. So n need to change to n minus one. So, and then you divide it by this one. Now n becomes n minus one, becomes two n minus two plus one. So it becomes two n minus one. So the first one is n divided by two n minus one, right? And then this becomes, n minus one of n minus two, right? n becomes n minus one, and then minus n, and this is fn, right? So this is this one, this, this becomes this one. The next one is n minus plus one. Now this, using the same thing, but n becomes n, plus one, right? N becomes N plus one. So you divide it by this one, N becomes N plus one. So this becomes two N plus, uh, two N plus three, right? And then this becomes N plus one. 
Fn. And this one is n from n plus one comes out n plus two. Yep, n plus two. Right, so it gets more and more complicated. Now, uh, now then you want to simplify that because after this, you get uh, all these things that you don't want because it's get, getting out of hand to the n minus two here and then f n plus two here. So those are things that uh, will give you trouble. So, uh, to get rid of that, you can use the first you know, recurrence formula. <coughs> so, uh, to get that, uh, you can use this to get rid of n, n minus two, because uh, if this is n minus, if n becomes n minus one, then you have n minus two, right? Then, uh, that becomes n because n minus one plus one is n. And uh, this becomes n plus one. n minus two in terms of fn and n, fn plus one. So get rid of that. So hopefully that will give, uh, give you an easier time. So n plus one. N minus one. Using this, yeah. This one, this one is uh, move this to out the other term to the other side and change n to n plus one, right? And n to n plus one, so n to n minus one. So this becomes n f n minus two. N becomes n minus one. So you have the first is this term, then now uh, has two n minus one over x of n minus one and then minus okay and this is this one minus n of n okay now you get rid of this one the next thing is uh, get rid of that one. Okay. N plus one F N. Now, this one you can again you can using this one. If n plus two becomes n change to n plus one, right? Then this becomes F N. This becomes F N plus plus one. Right. Uh -huh. So it's this term of so minus uh, n plus two times. <coughs> so, so this one, so it's this term becomes uh, two n plus three over x times f n plus one. So this one, this one becomes f n. This one, right? You can follow. You don't, you know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, at least what I'm trying to do. And now it's really getting out of hand. So uh, what you want to do is uh, see if you can simplify thing. See if you can simplify thing. Uh, so you have all the F N here. Fn, 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 and Fn. So you have three three kind of terms: Fn minus one, Fn, and Fn plus one. So see if we can simplify that. So okay. Okay. First is uh, the Fn minus one term. You only have this one, right? And this one is, uh, 
you have two n, two n minus one, cancel with this, two n minus one. So you have n times n minus one divided by x times this one. So Minus one. And there's lots of Fn. There's lots of Fn. So let's see. You have N and you have N. Oh, there's both a minor, minus. So minus, minus. Uh, so you have minus 2n minus 1, right? right? This one combined with this, so minus 2n minus 1. Yes. I mean, get, off, get all the n terms. N minus 1, minus 2n minus 1. So that's from this two, and for this one, wait. Uh, no, no, I need to multiply by n divided by 2n minus 1, right? Multiply by, because this is just inside the square bracket, so n minus 1 minus n minus 1 and minus n become minus 2n minus 1. And then I need to multiply something in the, the factor in in front of it, so multiply by n divided by two n minus one, so this cancel. <coughs> so that's from this square bracket. Now do the same thing for this one. So you have n plus one, and minus minus become plus, becomes two n plus three, three n plus three times minus n, plus one divided by two n plus three. So I cancel two n plus three, all together is minus n plus one. Okay. All of them are f sub n. Okay. You, you know, can you, can you follow? Yeah. It's getting complicated. Okay, last one is uh, f n plus one. When you have this one, so you have this one cancel with 2n plus 3 cancel with 2n plus 3. So all to get a negative sign cancel with this. So you have plus. Uh, this two cancel. This n plus 1 times n plus 2 divided by x. Divided times fn plus one. Okay, so and now you can further simplify this one. This is minus n minus n plus one. All together is minus two n plus one. Minus two n plus one, right? Let me show up. Okay, now it seems like a, it simplifies somewhat, and uh, hopefully that help. All right, so that's f n double pi. F n double pi. Uh, I can actually make one more simplification because uh, this is minus. All together is minus two n plus one times f n, and then I divide by two n plus one. So all together is minus f n. This one combined with this one is just minus f sub n. And so, uh, and this is f n double prime. If I move this to the other side, it becomes f n double prime plus f n. Right? This term combined with this thing is f n double prime plus f n. But I have this in the, because they x square, Fn double prime, and then x squared Fn. So combining with this two, this term combining with this term is x squared times this term combining with this term. So move this to the other side, and the rest is this one and this one 
right? Uh, I mean, multiply by x squared. Is this, so, so let me write down here. So the x squared. For, Double prime plus okay. and so that's this one and this one. So equals to the rest uh, equals to you know, the rest and multiply by x square x square. Multiply by the rest. The rest is uh, you have this term and that term. So this term is uh, n times n minus one divided by two n plus one, and f n minus one divided by x. Right, and then plus uh, what is two n plus one f you can get out two n plus one. Right, that's this one because this these two terms have the same factor. N terms n plus two divided by x of n plus one. Right. Right. No. Uh, Now see, uh, if I can have, uh, but this is, this is this one. So uh, we get to this part. So I get this part and that part. So I still need this two. I still need this, this two, this one, and then this one. This one is two x terms fn, which uh, is this fn prime. So fn prime, this one, uh, this way here, two x fn prime is given by just two x divided by two n plus one, multiplied by the rest, n times fn minus one, Minus n plus one, f n plus one. Okay, so it's this term. I have now I have this two term in here, and this two, this term in here. And so the last term is just this one, which only involve f n. Okay, but uh, one thing I can probably do is to add this two first. At this two first and see if I can simplify to something that's involved that in. Hopefully that will work. And if I add two, first of all, I can cancel this x with this. So now everything has an x, so I can take the x out. I can take the factor two n plus one out if I add them. I add them. Okay, now I can take everything out. Let's take x over 2n plus 1 out. And then combining these two terms, so you have uh, n times n, n times n minus 1 plus 2n plus 2n becomes a uh, plus two n become n plus one, right? And then, but this term you have uh, n 
plus one times n plus two minus n minus two n plus one. There's a two minus two times n plus one. So n plus one can take out becomes n plus two minus two. So get rid of that. And right. The both are n times n plus one. Both have the same factor. Now, uh, we can pull it out and fn plus the so both, the bracket become fn plus one, fn minus one plus fn plus one, which is this one, which is 2n plus one times fn divided by x. x over, or you can multiply this to the other side, x over 2n plus one times fn minus one plus fn plus one, right? No. Um, that is equals to fn, which is fn times n plus one. Right? Which is what you expect, this one, this one, this one, is this one, this one is this one. You add these three terms, equals to move it to the other side and times n plus one times epsilon. Right, so, so this is correct. Right, 